Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. I am so excited about this week's OMG because I went on a mission to the beauty bakery store in San Diego and I picked up flour for your face. How cute is this? It actually looks like a little baking thing of flour. I don't know why this makes me so excited. It just, why do I like weird things like this? I just want to bake a cake. I am going to show you exactly what this powder does, how it works. This is a mattifying powder and Beauty Bakery is more of an indie brand and I am wanting to showcase more indie brands on my channel. So you're going to see that more often, but how cute. It has nutrition facts on the side. That is super adorable. It has baking tips. It says that you can put this all over your face to set foundation and mattify the skin, or you can press it into your T-zone for an even further mattifying effect. And of course, because this is a flour baking powder, this is perfect for baking, which is what we are gonna do. So I have my foundation on, a little bit of contour, a lot of bit of brow, but I have not put on any concealer yet. So I'm gonna scoot you guys closer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this under the eye, set it with a little bit of this right here. I have two shades. I have a more translucent and a yellow shade. And then the excitement does not stop up there guys I have highlighters that look like they're in little ice cream tubs oh my god I want a scoop of ice cream right now um, or to just like sprinkle this all over my body and shine from here into the heavens. So this is a very shiny highlighter. It is a loose powder. I did test this on my hand in the store. I'm really excited to get in here and show it to you guys. I have the shade Frosted. I also have the shade Iced. I believe they have about three different shades as well. Also, this brand is a black owned brand. So you have a full array of colors as far as highlighters and even the setting powders for all skin tones, which I think is fabulous. All right, let's get to applying a lot of bait. The first thing that we need to do is conceal the under eye area. So I'm gonna take light neutral, tart shape tape, and I'm gonna apply very light. So it's a thin layer that I'm working with, but it's very, very opaque. Like no joke, I mean, come on. And I have the most ridiculous breakout happening. It is painful, okay? This happens every once in a blue moon to me. Like I will get a painful underground situation on my chin. So we're gonna do a little extra concealing there and then apply the bake on top of it. And I probably need to switch up to using light medium, but okay, I'm gonna go straight into baking before I go to the other eye so that I can keep creasing at a minimum. Bam. We have the translucent right here. And then I do also have the more yellow toned. I'm not really into the whole yellow toned thing. I think it can work on deeper skin tones, but I wanted to see like what kind of banana yellow this is. I don't know why I was expecting it to smell like something because it's Beauty Bakery. Like I want everything to smell like baked goods, but this does not have a scent to it. Let's open the translucent. These have just a nice sifter on the top. There you go. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with translucent. That's what we're gonna do. Be warned, you don't need to shake the sifter much because it just kind of comes flying right through. You know how sometimes you have to like struggle and like really tap it a lot? Okay, so I'm gonna use my beauty blender that is dampened and pick up a bunch of the powder because we want to be generous because I am baking with this flour. Okay, going in and kind of making sure all those creases are gone and then, oh, that is some thick flour. It's not that opaque. Mm, should we be crazy and use the yellow on the other side? Yes, yes we should. Okay, taking another beauty blender that does not have the powder all over it and pressing in my concealer. And I am gonna take the translucent down the bridge of the nose. And now we wait. I'm gonna sit here for about five, 10 minutes, let my skin warm up, and then we will kick off this flour bake. It has been about 15 minutes, so my bake has properly set, and now I am ready to dust it off. I always like grabbing a little bit of powder on my brush before I go in, just so there's a better glide when kind of kicking off your bake. So here we go, let's do this. 
coming off nice and easy. Well, this eye looks great. It looks very brightened up, crease free. It feels really nice on the skin. This is a very silky, lightweight powder. And I'm just kind of taking a little bit of whatever's left over on my brush and just dusting this everywhere. This is a super mattifying powder. So if you have very, very dry skin, this might be too much for you. If you want to keep a nice level of dewiness everywhere on the skin, you know, this definitely takes away any shine. I am going to be putting shine back on my cheekbones with the highlighter. So I like this kind of a finish and also my skin does tend to get really, really oily. So I am gonna be doing check-ins for you guys and showing you how this wears throughout the day. But right now, I think it looks nice and it feels really nice. It does not look heavy. If you were really close up to me in person, you would see that it's not sitting on my skin weird. It's not making my pores look more visible. And when I smile, it's almost like tight under my eyes. Like I feel like there's somehow a really nice tightening effect from leaving the bake on like that. Now question guys, and leave this in the comments below, which side do you like better, the translucent or the yellow? Because I think I like the translucent. I feel like the yellow on my skin is just setting off a lot of green and yellow that's naturally in my skin tone. So I don't really like the yellow thing under the eye, but I wanted to show you guys both. So I think I'm probably gonna actually take a little bit of the translucent under here to kind of make them match a little more. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. It's not a bad price for this either. $16.80 for a full thing of setting powder. I think that's pretty reasonable. You get a lot of product in here. Now let's take a little hit of this highlighter, which is adorable. I just think this is so cute. I love the whole theme of it. All right, I'm gonna take the shade Iced and I'm gonna go straight in here with a fan brush. Ooh, a little goes a long way, guys. Whew, that is flying everywhere. That's pretty. That is actually a lot softer than I thought it would be for some reason. It's not like a blinding highlight. Okay, well, I layered it up and now it is. <laughs> The rest of my makeup is clearly on my face. Now it is just time to see how everything wears and if my face stays looking this good because it's nice and mattified. I really, really love this powder. I think it is incredible. I, of course, prefer the translucent to the yellow toned. That is just preference, but I think the packaging's cute. The product itself performs really, really well and I like it a lot. What I'm sadly not love loving is the illuminator. Now, of course, the ice cream kind of package is very eye-catching and cute, but it's not doing enough for me on my cheek and it faded really quickly. And then I did see that because it's so loose, a lot of the particles kind of flutter up to, you know, the middle of your forehead, kind of they're just a little bit everywhere. So I'm not loving this. I wanna try the shade Frosted on my shoulders just so we can see how the color looks because I tried Iced on my cheekbones and Frosted is more pinky toned. So let's just go ahead and do that. Grab a little in here. It does smell good, but can you see how it's just very finely milled? So that powder is just really fluffing everywhere. And it's not, it's not that like bam kind of a highlighter. So if you want something that's a little more subtle, you don't like that really crazy glow, then you might be into this. I'm gonna go have some lunch and live my day, take you with me, see how this powder bake wears all day long and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it is now 6.43. I have had such a busy day of filming. I actually um, upgraded my look with a pair of false lashes. That's the only thing that I have changed. I have not touched up anything. Do we see how not shiny I am? I'm really impressed. I did put on different highlighter actually too because the highlighter, as I mentioned, was just not giving me enough. But this powder I will totally wear again because it feels really good. And it's kept my face from not getting crinkly and cakey, but not shiny either. It's really, really good. It is good. I think you look really pretty. And Thanks. I, and I can also say, yeah. I like the new vlogging camera too. Yeah, we have a new vlogging camera. What do you guys think? It is more realistic and awesome. And let me know in the comment section if you see a difference. I see a difference. Let's see the truth. Dun, 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 dun. 
Look, it's pretty good though, right? Do you know what I like about this camera? Huh? It doesn't blur you out. Oh, well, praise the Lord, right? Yeah, I like it. And this makeup is staying so nice. I am in love with this powder, you guys. All right, I will do another check-in in a little bit. Check it out, guys. James got a ticket. Oh, come on. Don't make fun of me. James got a ticket. Dude. No. Not happy. Why does this upset me so much? I hate parking tickets so much. Why? 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 I always pay. I always pay. Why didn't you this time? I was distracted you you by your beauty. I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. Why is this the most annoying thing ever when your zipper like does this business? Like down at the bottom? Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I still look pretty freshly made up. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm loving this powder. So I just finished a little grocery shopping. I have discovered these things right here, Hint. It is so good, especially if you are trying to cut back on sugar, but you get bored of just drinking water. And I know you can infuse, you know, water in your fridge with cut up fruit at home, but I just never have the time to. So this is just, of course, a shortcut, but yeah, what am I talking about? I don't know. And these look really, really, really promising. Jalapeno pop chips. It's 9.48 right now and the makeup is still really good. I was actually just sitting here playing with some lipstick. That's the only thing really right now in my day to day that I will kind of fuss with and change. So I put on this one from H&M, Peach Fuzz, which is a really pretty, oh, well, why did I do that? Oops, ignore that. Peach Fuzz, really beautiful. And then I put Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory in Rose and Shine on top. And I think this looks really nice. So that is an update to my look right now. But beyond that, Everything else has stayed completely the same. I had some errands to run. I went and did some grocery shopping. I had some stuff to organize around the house. I've kind of been taking care of things here in this beauty space. And uh, yeah, I've been kind of not just sitting still, I guess is my point. And the makeup still looks really, really mattified and good. Like, can you even believe this? I mean, I know my highlight's a little bit crazy, but in a good way. And everything else is just staying so mattified. I love it. I love it flower for your face. It's cute, it's affordable. It is awesome that they have colors for every single skin tone out there. And this is not sponsored at all, but I am gonna link below the company so that you guys can discover this brand. I think that it's really, really cool that they've just expanded and done such a nice job with their products. I do wanna share with you guys, I did get other things from Beauty Bakery and I bought all of this myself. I went down to San Diego, which is like a two and a half hour drive from me. And I purchased all this. You know, someone left in the comment section that I am the clumsiest, elegant person they've ever seen, and that is so, so spot on. Thank you for that. Whoever left that comment, you are incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Hot or Not. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit that share button, and leave me comments below. I read them all. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.